And who came up with the, the good night to the whole family? Was that from the very first episode that very happened? First. Yeah, yeah, I think Earl's, Earl's family, Earl Hamner, who created the show, they really did that. So he put it in. And now it's just everybody in the world does it, no oh. matter where we go. You know what? I grew up doing that because I'm I'm the youngest of eight children. Right. So we were obsessed with the Waltons. <laughs> you were. They were, they, were the, they were the, the British Waltons. Oh, we were the British yeah. Waltons. Yeah. So every night we'd do that. Good night. Good night, Anne. Good night, Laurie. Yeah. Oh, I loved it. <laughs> I wanted yeah. someone to be called John Boy. We, I miss. Well, we don't miss each other so much because we see each other a lot. But um, sometimes it would be really nice to work together again. And we have a couple of times. But you had to grow up making the series. And it must have been tough for you to be filmed all the time, going through your teenage years and your body changing. Yes, well, your, your segment starts next week. It's tough I on could, us. I could be back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you had no privacy, did you? No, and the body image stuff, you know, Aaron was supposed to be the pretty one, so there was yeah. a lot of pressure for me to look a certain way and weigh a certain amount and, you know. Like she had to work at it. Yeah. <laughs> and also, you were skinny. So what about, you know... That's not what they told me. <laughs> Did they say you were fat? Yeah. yeah. <gasps> How do you deal with that? Um, I, I created a body image issue for myself and a lot, of, a lot of stuff, a lot of radical diets and starving and trying to fit in and be perfect until I grew up and realized that there is no perfection in that way. Absolutely. But... On a brighter note, I'm going to be seeing you both again at the weekend. Yes! yes. Very excited. So We're doing a breast cancer fundraiser. That's right, yes. in memory of my sister, Bernie. Yes, I yep. So we've got a whole weekend together. Yeah, so this yeah. is the Bernie Nolan Breast Cancer Charity Ball. And have you come over especially for that? We have. Yes. We have, just to honor her memory and to keep it alive and let people know they can, you know, breast cancer now is who is benefiting. Yeah. Is she making you go in costume? No, no, I haven't she's told them that yet. <laughs> <laughs> I was planning on wearing an apron and yeah. high heels. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and was, uh, Michael, you were a relatively young woman when you joined that show, but you were the ma. I mean, were, I were you kind of ready for that? To well, be I had three, three boys of my yeah. own, and I was the oldest of six girls, yeah. so I sort of knew how to change diapers and bake bread and do things like that, which I think worked for the character, actually, yeah. you know? I mean, people, when, when you're watching somebody roll out pie, they, they know if you know what you're doing or not. <laughs> uh, I think it worked in my favor. Yeah. I mean, it was great family viewing. So many people were talking about it with the audience. Everyone remembers it and saying, you know, it was that kind of real, the family sat down. What was it about that show? Because, you know, they were living in the Depression. Mm -hmm. They had no money. What, what was it, do you think, that, that made it so popular and so loved? I, th I think that it's something that was, has been missing in the world, and especially lately, where people um, are missing a sense of community, a sense of family, mm -hmm. a sense of extended family coming together to support each other. And I think that is that forever is important. And we get away from it, and so the show reminds people that they want to go back to that. Yeah. And everybody can relate to it. They either wanted that family or they had that family. Mm -hmm. we have, I have people coming up saying, you know, I had a terrible childhood, so your family has shown, that show has shown me how a, a functional family could mm. operate. And other people who come up and say, I had a wonderful family and your show make, brings back happy memories. So I think mm -hmm. it appealed to people on, on many levels. It was obviously a fictional family to you, but as a cast, were you friends? Did you get on? I mean, was it like a real family? Was there dysfunction and rows and coming back together? And... <laughs> <laughs> No, we no, can't we stand were, each other. We were close. We were very close, actually. She's my mama. And, you know, there were times when Ralph and I would be pretty tired at the end of a day, and it would be a close-up, and these kids would all make us laugh. <laughs> I always had a breakdown at 5 o'clock every night. Yeah. I well, you would, wanted to go home to your own I would start laughing children. hysterically, yeah. and then <laughs> I'd end up crying with my head <laughs> on the table. She How did. often were you filming? Like, was it every day? Nine, yeah, nine months Pretty a year. Much. Nine months a year. Yeah, nine months a year every day. Saw them more than I saw my own family. And they went home one summer. They went on hiatus. And they all came back about <laughs> three feet tall <laughs> and with yeah. breasts and, and beards. And it was like, it was a shock. It was a yeah. suddenly a whole new family. But the show saved you, really, didn't it? In the end, because oh. you were going through a tough time, weren't you? When you I was. I was joined. going through a divorce from a husband I'd lived ha half my lifespan with. I had three kids and no money. I had no money. 
And uh, I went to L.A. and stayed in a in a, a motel for twelve dollars a night with my Raggedy Ann doll and a bottle of bourbon, <laughs> and uh, and huge boxes of Kleenex because I cried all the time. I mean, it was a really traumatic time. Mm -hmm. And then um, I had got, I had come to L.A. just to learn the freeways. I I wasn't going to try out for anything. And my agent kept saying, "There's this part of a farm woman, and you have to go see about it." And I kept saying, I'm t "I just did Private Lives and Cleopatra. I'm not a character actress <laughs> yet." <laughs> and he said, "You have to go." So I did. And then. Wow. It saved me. The rest it is really history, saved me. Say. Yeah, it was like there was a hand on my shoulder, and it was I meant feel to so be. grateful yeah. to that. Mm -hmm. yeah.